in a moment when uh, painting does not need anymore to simply represent with fidelity an image which is there because you can take photos. Painting has to bring more than fidelity. It has to bring all the other aspects which are behind. And that's what he brought to us. I used to say that the, the kind of physics that I do is physics a la Picasso. Picasso was trying to translate reality by using as few ingredients as possible. So the woman was reduced to two circles and a triangle into a body. Just to try, to, because if you look at the two circles and you, the, the triangle, you know this is a woman. And he was just cleaning up the images as much as possible to keep just the essential ingredients. So the kind of physics that I am doing is I am doing modeling and analytical solution of models. This means that I am not going to have a very precise answer because what you can solve analytically is restricted. But this means that I will be able to understand why the system behaves in that way when I am doing the calculations. The very important issue when I am going to solve a new problem is to be able to write down a model which has the minimal ingredients such that I am not going to solve things which are unnecessary. I'm not going to complicate my life more than what I really have to. In principle, you really try to make it simple and essential. And it always makes me think of Picasso paintings. In response to a world that was changing with unprecedented speed, Pablo Picasso and George Braquet developed the first abstract style of modern art at the beginning of the 20th century. The traditional way of the arts was not sufficient to reflect this modern age, so they needed a new way of depicting reality, and not only by merely simplifying it. The essential ingredients of a tree are not the same as the essential ingredients of a picture of a tree. Because when we look at an object, it is not from a single perspective. Through our movement, we perceive the object from multiple points of view, and therefore register the object from different angles. Our perception of the object is the sum of all these different angles. But the traditional painting would only allow one perspective. In response to this, the Cubist paintings, even though they are abstract in form, aim to give a more complete picture of reality by fusing different appearances of reality. That is also a, a, a very interesting aspect of Picasso painting. I think it brings his genius and also at the time when he was working. You see, in the beginning of last century, in the 1900s, we had to finally understand that particles are also waves and waves are also particles simultaneously. And you see one aspect of them with the certain measurements and other types of measurements will show different aspects. So things are not just one thing, what you are seeing now, but they have other aspects. And this is ourselves in a very simple term. If I look at you, I'm seeing your face, but there is also the back of your face that I'm not seeing now, but it's part of you and it's there. So when Picasso comes and tries to represent different aspects of the same reality, so I am not myself only from the front, but also from the side, and it's all integrated, it's all there to be seen in the same painting. Maybe it brings some confusion, but at the same time, it reminds you that reality is much more complex than just one simple regard that we usually have towards it. 
I think this illustrates very well the kind of physics that we are doing. I, understanding, it's living, right? It's the reason to live, is to understand in whatever level, not only physics and nature, but ourselves and everything. <laughs>